Hello? Hello. This call is Here officially a final notice from IRS. This is the second time today I've gotten the same call, service. so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll call, call them back. And the number is filing lawsuit against you. I'll let it go. To get more information about this case file, please call immediately on our department number. 928-345-8691. I repeat. 928-345-8691. Thank you. You bet. All right, let's call them back because this is very scary. Um, <laughs> I called them earlier, but star 67 in my number kind of made them mad, so maybe this time I won't. Eh, maybe I will. 9283459861. I think that was it. Let's just make sure. 8961, sorry. 8961. All right, let's see what happens, because this is now the third time that I'm calling them today. This is silliness, absolute insanity. So let's see what's going on. Be reached at the moment. Right. Please leave a message after the tone. All right. Of course. Let's try it without blocking the number. Let's go ahead and just call them because this is fun. All right. Let's see what we get. Because this is now the second time in ah, three, four hours that they've called. And I already called them back once. I heard you. If you look, there's already a video. Um, I just got a voicemail saying that I, to call this number. No, you you called me. Um, so no. Uh, I I'm trying to find out who it is that's calling me that's saying that this is my final call. I'm from the Internal Revenue Service Investigation Department. Okay, and you're, what am I being what am I being investigated for? Sorry, what do you say? What am I being investigated for? First of all, may I have your first name and your last name? I, I usually don't give that out to people who just call me randomly with a recorded thing saying that they're the IRS when... I, hey, 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 listen to me carefully, please. Lady, please listen to me carefully, okay? I'm finding your case file, and I'm finding your name... That's the reason I'm asking your first name, your last name, and address, okay? Well, I absolutely will not give you my address. Um, my, my, I will tell you that my first name is Jessica, and uh, and my number should have call, come up on the caller ID. What I found curious is when I blocked my phone number to call you, it, it wouldn't go through. But when I called you directly, it would. And this is the third call I've gotten today from this number in Yuma, Arizona. And the IRS isn't in Yuma, Arizona, so I'm trying to figure out why I keep getting threatening phone calls from you. Yeah, of course. Let's call them again. Yeah, as soon as you call them out, they hang up on you. That's the game. Here we go again. Nine two eight three four five eight six nine one. And then they hang up on you. Because the IRS always hangs up on you. Thanks for calling Hi, I received a, a very ominous voicemail saying it was like a recording that said it was the final attempt at contacting me about a case file with the IRS. Let's check it out. First one, can you your name? I usually don't give out information to that kind of thing. That's why I'm curious, like, what, what this is all about. 
Yeah, ma'am. Don't worry, ma'am. This is a recorded line. That's the reason I'm asking for your name. Okay, but well, this is a recorded line. You're being recorded, too. Because when I, I always record calls like this because I'm really af afraid of, of identity theft. Yeah, correct. But can you verify your name? Uh, my name is Jessica. Jessica? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. What's your last name? Can you turn for me? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, if you called me, I called you. I didn't block my number. You should have that on caller ID. So I, I'm, I'm really confused. Uh -huh. It says I had to call you immediately. And and you should okay. and, and it didn't say I had to give you any information. And I'm not going to give you any information. Ma'am, I'm very picking up I'm asking you, ma'am. I'm sorry? I'm asking you this verification purpose, you understand? No, I really don't, because the IRS isn't in Yuma, Arizona. So I'm, I'm really confused. The IRS is, n or nothing about the IRS is in Yuma, Arizona. So I'm trying to... Uh, let's check it out. That's what the number comes up. Can I have your zip code? My zip code? Can I have your zip code? 63017. 63017. 63017? Correct. That's not my zip code. All right. That's correct. All right, that's all. I'm going to check it out. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling they hung up again, but we'll see. Did you hang up on me? Uh, okay. This is hysterical that they, they're relentless. They really think they're going to get me to give them something that they're not going to get. I, I can't even imagine. This is... He's, you have the wrong zip code. That may be what you have in your files, but that, that's not my zip code. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I, I can. That, that, I'm here. I'm here. Um, I'm, I'm trying. That's not my zip code. You must have something wrong in your files. 63017? Correct. All right, just relax. Yeah, I've moved. I, 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 I moved out of my house. Second time today they've called. My guess is he'll hang up as soon as he realizes that I'm I'm on to him, but we'll see. We'll see how long I can keep him on the line. I don't have too, too much time. Are you there? I can't find out, but I'm just hold on now. I'll mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, yeah, because I'd like to know what's in my case file. This really has me worried because the, you know, the thought of being arrested, um, which is what I was told once before, is, is kind of unnerving. And I, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, wrap my brain around all this because I've been in touch with the IRS. I mean, I'm in a payment plan with them. I can't really figure out why I would be under investigation or, or have a threat of someone coming to my house to arrest me. I called a little while ago and someone just straight out said, no, so you've already decided you've decided to be arrested. 
here and I said, no, I don't want to be arrested. I, I, I want to figure out what, you know, what this is about. Why you, this is probably the fifth uh, time you guys have called me. Restaurant. Restaurant. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm, I can't find out. I'm sorry, I'm not giving any information right now. Can you verify your address? No. If you tell me my address, I'll tell you if you're if you're even nearby. But no, I'm not giving out my address to to a stranger. I mean, think about that, would you? Why don't you give me your address and I'll give you my address, and then we can we can match up. I'm sorry? Uh, I, I, would you give your address to a stranger? My address? Would, well, would you give your address to a stranger? No, miss, I'm asking you, can you, in order to block your case file, can you verify your mailing address, then I will able to block your case file? But you have my phone number and my name, shouldn't that be all you need? I'm really uncomfortable giving out my address uh, to, to a complete stranger. Uh, it's your, it is your old address, ma'am. I find out your old address. That's the reason, ma'am. Okay. So you're finding my old address. And, you know, no, I'm not, I, I would really much prefer not to give out my address. I guess this whole thing just has me really unnerved. Maybe I need to call the IRS and find out if, if, if this is... You know, one of those scams they talk about? I don't know. So, miss, what do you mean, ma'am? Uh, if you're shooting, uh, I'm from any bill collection agency, ma'am, simply handle this man, I'm so I will proceed with the legal charges. Next, what if I mean? Local authorities will become a choker. Thank you, Bogan. Have a great day. You represent the legal department? Wait for the next 45 minutes. Local authorities will become at your place. They will become the Well, you. I was told that three months, three weeks ago, and I'm still at home. So when, when, you know, when, when should I expect these police to show up at my house? Because I was told the exact same thing about three weeks ago, and no one came to arrest me. Okay. Then bye bye. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me how many people actually fall prey to this a day? <laughs> and that's very American music that the IRS would have. <laughs>